There we go. Trying those O's again. Maybe should have the heater off in here. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back. Sunny side of vaping. Today we are vaping on the IPV2 with the Hobo Addy by Hobo Customs. Authentic Addy that we're going to do a little review on today. Kind of show you what it's all about. It's one of my favorite Addies at the moment. I picked it up. Went to a, Mich a Michigan Vape Expo down in Ann Arbor probably about a month ago or something like that. And I picked one up there and I kind of fell in love with it right away. Um, it does have a couple pet peeves that I would mention um, when we get to up close and personal, but for the most part, it is a good Addy. It does not come with a drip tip. This is my drip tip. And obviously it doesn't come with the IPV. But I have it on a 0.3, I have a 0.3, Ohm coil, dual coil setup in there, rocking 47.5 volts or watts on my IPV. And it does pretty good, pretty good. I am vaping Sweet Sweet Betty from Pinup Vapors. Delicious, delicious, deliciousness, I must say. <clears throat> Probably one of my all-time favorite juices. I always have a bottle with me. Use it in the U can just because it is nice and easy to work with when it's in the U can. So, like I said, I picked this up when I was in Michigan um, at the Vape Expo. Mine is a earlier version of it. The ones we have here at the shop are version twos, so there's like really one main difference in it. And I'll show you all that up close and personal. So let's let's just get to it. Why why sit here and blab about nonsense? Let's get up close personal with it and show you all the ins and outs about it and then we'll come back out talk price point and overall thoughts on the addy so see you in a bit one last rip all right so here we go up close with the hobo addy gonna show you the packaging it comes in this little like what you i mean it reminds me of the things that you used to put like your negatives in when you shot with the old style cameras but that's not important. Um, you have this nice little hobo logo here, which I actually think is a pretty cool logo. I like the guy right here just blowing the cloud there at the end with his little hobo stick all the way over to the O. Pretty cool logo. Um, pop this open. Come on. Oop, wrong side. Pop it open. You're going to get two different bags. Nothing else is going to be in there. So throw that to the side. You're going to get two different bags. One bag is going to have your Allen key and the wrenches or the screws so I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see let's see if I can get that in a good there you go you see those things are pretty pretty small this is gonna lead me to one of my dislikes about this Addy and actually it's just a personal preference when it comes to Addies but it's something I just don't like in Addies is using Allen screws I really really just prefer Phillips or even flathead but it is what it is it's not going to get too much of a knock for it but I would prefer it to be a screwdriver a screw screw and your other one you're going to get the actual Addy itself pop this open put that to the side and here you go right here you got the logo which we'll zoom in on again Pretty, pretty cool logo. I really, really like it. Just so sim simple and clean. Um, this thing's really much, pretty much like a four-piece design. It's kind of, there's not a lot to it, but small chamber, four-piece design kind of deal. So you have, I'll show you, I'll just do a quick rundown. You have your logo. On the top right here, you have two different air holes, air flows. That's going to be for your flavor control. And then on the side, you have three for your actual airflow control and allows you to do single coils. So you have one right here and then they'll be blocked off on the other side or you have the option to run dual coils with one right there and one right there. Down here you have a copper positive pin. You're gonna have it say made in the USA and then your serial number. This one happens to be serial number H1783. 
So that's pretty much that right there. Let's kind of start taking it apart. Let me get a, a mod here to put it on. Kind of take it apart. And pop off. This is a brand new one, so it's going to be a little tight. Oh boy. There we go. Once you get juice on there, you'll be fine. Um, I'll put this to the side. I'll show you the top cap real quick. So here's your top cap again. This little piece is going to come off also. So there you go. You have two different pieces. This allows you to control your flavor. The, the airflow goes directly on top of the coils, giving you good control of your flavor. It's pretty much, you know, I usually use mine kind of like halfway up here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I usually use it halfway right there. Kind of gives me the best control, the best flavor it is. So we're going to take this back off and just kind of set it to the side. A little dome shape in there for the for the flavor. Put that back aside. Here on the base, you have a, this part right here that screws off, which gives you access to your build deck. And then we'll take this off the mod. All right. So here's your build deck. As you can see, it is a four post design style. Let's zoom in here. Four post design. You got your, everything's pretty much milled with the bottom, with the whole piece. So your negative and your positive are all milled in there together. So it's all one solid piece. And then they basically laser cut out these little juice walls right here, little eye drop, jelly bean looking things right there. So that's the pet peeve right there is those Allen keys. I just really, really dislike Allen keys for for things. You're going to notice, I'm going to show you a build that's in mine. I have an earlier version of this, so my actual positive pins right here is copper, but this is the version 2 they made some changes by putting that to stainless steel they were having some people complain about copper so they made it to stainless steel um, you can tell there's you got the o-ring right there so it seals in when you lock the this piece right here when you thread this onto there it's going to lock it in to give you the option to have a really 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 big juice well you can stuff a lot of cotton in there. Me, personally, I'm more of a not-so-much-cotton type of guy, so I don't put that much, but there you go right there. The one thing I would tell you to do is they're all a little bit different, I've noticed. So when you get it, if you grab your top here, or your bottom piece, grab your little ring, and put that on there, screw it all the way down, And then you see where the air flows at. You see how it's like at an angle, angle right here. So there you kind of know where to put your 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 coils. If you try doing a center post coil, you're gonna restrict your airflow just to this little piece. So here you got a better idea of how to orient your coils to your addy because some actually go all the way more, turn more, and there'll be center post you could do. But this one seems to be like at an angle. This is the other pet peeve I have, is this guy right here. Um, it's not, I don't know how to say it. If you have that on there, and you go put it on a mod, right, and you're using it on a mod, and you put, if you put the whole Addy onto your mod too tight, and you go to use it, sometimes you'll try unscrewing it, and you do that. You unscrew just this part from this part and then juice can get everywhere and all that stuff so I wish they would have found a way to kind of make that to where it sticks um, so you got to kind of push down Let's see if that worked nope that didn't even work yeah see so when you get if you have that on there too tight it happens like that so um, I haven't had really too much of an issue because I I'm real I don't put my addies on my mods really tight but I did notice it when I first got it that it would do that. So again, let's just do show you the overall all four pieces of it. 
do, 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 do. Pop this off. See, even right there, I could unscrew that. And then this would have to unscrew. So if you have cotton and stuff in there, you could imagine what it's going to be like. And juice and all that. So here you go, your four pieces of your Hobo Addy. Let's get a little focus going on here. There you go. There's really not much more to say about it. I mean, it's great design. Um, I personally been enjoying this very good. Um, the couple of pet peeves, like I said, the Allen head screws don't don't like those, and this little part that sometimes could could change. Um, you have. Let me see if I could get a little screwdriver here to kind of show you. I have to have a screwdriver somewhere around here. Oh, this will work. Um, you're right in here, you have a little peak insulator for your 510. I have seen people that have kind of melted that a little bit, but it's pretty, it'll withstand quite a bit of heat, so you'll be fine there. Like I said, you have the solid copper pin. One thing to notice, if you do unscrew this, if you unloosen this, oh, let's see if I can do it, it's pretty tight in there. Come on. Not with this little screwdriver, probably. This pin is directly connected to your positive post right here. So if you unscrew that pin a little bit, then this post is going to start spinning on you. And that's not good in anything. So make sure that this is tight to that. That way you get no spinning. The whole thing is made from 316 medical grade stainless steel. You got that big juice well there. Um, I will show you, let me show you mine, let me show you the guts of mine so you can see like a build on there. Let me take it off my, take it off my IPV real quick. This is what my build looks like in mine. Let's move the light over here. So you see how much cotton you can put in there. I don't put a lot, but you could definitely cram some in there and fill up that little juice well a little bit to kind of not have to drip so much. See how mine's a little bit more centered on the my airflow here? My airflow opening right here is a little more centered on the coil. And like I said, this is a different, an earlier version, an ECC kind of deal where they had the copper right here. Um, but I prefer stainless steel, honestly. This is the one I bought when I when I got it in Michigan so there you go there's a build um, I'll unscrew this so you can actually see the cotton in there so there you go that's how you kind of put my cotton everyone's gonna do it differently but that's how I kind of do mine that back on there um, let's line up my juice things right here and we'll put that back aside and there you go that's the hobo addy up close and personal four piece design your if you're flavor and a vapor junkie this is going to be the addy for you um, I like the design I like the way they did the the small chamber with the different air flows and stuff I wish they would change some things, like trying to make this somehow lock on there when you do it so it becomes one piece or something. I don't know what they would do. I'm not a engineer, so put it all back together. You see you could put like this right here. That would be your opening. So you have one opening right there if you wanted single coil, and then on this side it will be blocked off. And this would go back on here. So there you have it, the Hobo Addy by hobo customs up close and personal so let's back back out and take a look at it vape on it and give you my overall impressions about it and price point and all that fun stuff see you guys in a bit all right folks we are back just finished doing an up close and personal look on the authentic hobo addy by hobo customs I think I said uh, version two in the in the up close and personal part. It's technically actually a version 2.1 that when they changed that stainless steel center post from copper to stainless steel, they kind of made it like a 2.1 version. Nonetheless, it's the authentic Hobo from Hobo Customs. 
I went ahead and I put it on a mechanical mod, my authentic Dark Knight here, just to kind of show you guys how it looks on there. Looks great. If I could get a black one of these, oh, that'd be awesome. I mean, that would that would finish this setup beautifully. I normally use this setup with a Tobe, black Tobe, but I really, really, really enjoy this Addy. So pros, um, small chamber, great flavor. The option to have dual or single coil is a benefit for most people. Um, the up top airflow control is definitely a plus because that does help with flavor. When I do flavor comparison in my different Addies, I use the same exact wrap, same exact coil, and the same exact juice so I could kind of get a good understanding if the flavor enhances or not. And this Addy, I could definitely tell you it does enhance. When I vape the Betty, Pinup Vapors Betty, I could definitely tell there's an enhancement in flavor. Um, the vapor production is there. So great for you people that like to chase clouds, but also like that flavor. Definitely, definitely would highly recommend one of these, um, especially if you're looking to pick up your first authentic or something like that and you want a good, good authentic, this is definitely one to pick up. We sell these here at the Vapor Shop in Wisconsin for 105 bucks. Um, good price point for them. So they're, you know, they're they're, they're there along the lines with, uh, with what authentics are kind of coming to you know you could get some for you could get some authentics for about 80 bucks but most of them are around that hundred dollar range um there are some out there that are 150 and up but for 105 bucks this is a great great little addy you definitely will not be um what's the word i'm looking for i have no idea what i was gonna say you yeah whatever you know what i mean you're you're gonna be satisfied with this don't don't act like you guys never lost your train of thought you're definitely going to be satisfied with this and I can't, you know, besides those two thumbs down, those two things that I don't dis I dislike about them, definitely the Allen wrenches. I really, really wish people would not make Allen wrench type screws, but it is what it is. And that thing where sometimes you could take this off and it'll come off. Those are two, probably the only two thumbs down I could give this device. Um, other than that, great Addy. I would definitely check it out. If you're local here, come by, check them out. If you're not local here, local here and you're interested in one of these and you're watching this video, feel free to message me on Facebook at our Facebook page. The link will be down on the bottom description. And we can work something out as far as getting it shipped to you and everything. So with that being said, you guys have a good one. I got some more reviews to do and stuff like that. And we're going to take one last rip and get on out of here.